Alright, today we're going to be tearing apart a mid-90s Bayou 300. I pulled a couple covers off here. I just did a um, valve clearance check, and so you can check that video out on my YouTube page. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start tearing this motor down. Start with the cylinder head. We'll pull that camshaft, pull a cylinder piston, uh, stator flywheel, all of that. So. First thing, we've got four cylinder head bolts up here, but we're going to go ahead and take apart this, or take off this um, cam chain tensioner. It's two 10 millimeters. And this motor here is extremely dirty, so if you're doing any kind of maintenance at all, you'll want to do a way better job of cleaning this up. But this one is, um, we're going to go ahead and just tear this down. Everything will get cleaned up uh, after it's tore down. So. We've got two 10 millimeter bolts here, and you will have to pull that this uh, camshaft cover to get to these bolts. We got the recoil pull, pull starter off here. That's four eight millimeter bolts. That's these here, and then we'll pull the camshaft once we get that tension off. There's no more um, the tension over here. There's no more tension on this chain, so um, we're able to pull that cam sprocket off. If we were to pull that cam sprocket off um, while we, before we took that tension out, we could potentially have damaged that crank, or that, excuse me, that cam shaft, and we wouldn't want to do that, so 12 millimeter, pull this bolt off here, pull the cam shaft off. And then we've got 14, like I said, 14 millimeter bolts up top here. And these are torqued down generally really well, so they are, a lot of times we've got these bigger impacts. Make sure when you're going back together that those get torqued down. There's your cylinder head bolt. Cam chain is off. We are ready to pull this head. Now, you don't want to use a crowbar and damage these um, fins here, but you can get in a spot and make sure you're prying on the right thing to where you don't even have to use a whole lot of pressure at all to lift that head up out of there. So enough just to break that gasket generally is what you have to do. Now to pull these rocker arms, there's a Phillips screw in there. Um, and you get that Phillips screw out and those rocker arms will just slide out. It's got some oil up in that cylinder head. So we'll let that drain there. We've got your cam chain here and your two guides. Here's your first guide there. And your other guide will have to take off once we pull this stator flywheel assembly. Got your cylinder that we'll pull off. That takes a 10 millimeter wrench. Just one bolt here on the side. It takes a fairly small, this ratchet wrench here is gonna be too thick. I'm not able to get in there. Here is your cylinder head gasket here, and then below this cylinder is your base gasket. Never want to reuse these gaskets. It's crucial that they seal, because you're going to have some serious motor problems. Take and tap, same thing, kind of just break that seal, flip that up out of there. This cylinder happens to be in really good condition. Uh, we'll measure it and make sure it doesn't need board out, make sure it's round. In, round. There's your cylinder there. You want to make sure there's no scoring. You don't want to reuse a scored cylinder. Um, you can get a board out or uh, just replace the cylinder. Now we're going to pull this piston here. So doing the top end on this one, you'll pull this piston. If all we're doing is replacing the um, piston cylinder, a lot of times um, rings need replaced. And you wouldn't have to remove this, the piston if that's the case, but let's just say we're having to remove this um, piston. Pull these clips out here, get a pick, 
Um, put your, put your um, pick in that groove on the piston and pry out this little circlip here. I try to keep my thumb over top of it so it doesn't go flying and so it doesn't drop into the motor. But that's the circlip there. Then you can just take and push that pin out. If that pin is stuck, um, you want to make sure you support in behind it before you hit it with anything just so you don't damage that crank. Now to get this pin back on, and this is, um, this is uh, obviously if we're going back together with it, put the, put the clip in um, that way, opposite of the groove there, and then you can take, as long as that stays in there, you can take and pry this back in there. And I won't take a whole lot of time doing that since we're not putting the piston back in right now, but that's how you'd put that pin back in. Next, we're going to flip this up. We're going to uh, pull that uh, flywheel there in the stator. 